everybody, South Louisiana Patriot. Just wanted to show a little experiment that I've been doing uh, the last two months. And I've been growing some beans hydroponically in a Kratky method uh, little box over here. Um, at first it wasn't very successful. It took me a little while to figure out how to, the proper ratios of fertilizer to mix because I was mixing for tomatoes and I think I was killing my plants. So after about the second or third try, um, we finally got some beans and it looks like we're doing pretty good. So here's the beans. Uh, they're growing in a, in a Kratky style box. Uh, this is just a six inch box with some plastic that's laid down and um, a piece of three quarter inch uh, styrofoam insulation there. And um, each little plant is growing in one of these little, uh, these little net pots. And we did something a little bit different because the, the uh, perlite that they're growing in won't stay in these net pots. It'll eventually all leak out through these holes. So what we did was uh, we took a pair of, of stockings and I cut them off um, into, I think they were a little, they may have been higher than knee highs, but I took them and cut them off into three sections and then tied each one off and um, used them to, uh, to hold that perlite in. I just kind of wrapped them around the top and used them to hold that perlite in. And then um, I cut three inch holes into, into the tops of the, uh, the styrofoam and then just dropped them in there. And as you can see, we've got some beans coming on already and these are only two months old. There's some nice size beans. And you can see all the flowers on here. So I suspect that uh, we're gonna have some nice size beans. So this is the fertilizer that I've been using. Um, we've got Flora Grow, Flora Blend, and Flora Micro. And one of the mixtures that I use is I will put a half a cup of the Flora Grow and the Flora Micro, and then a full cup of the Flora, Flora Bloom into there. And um, at first I was watering them for, uh, or I was, I was uh, fertilizing them to the equivalent of the, of the tomatoes, and I think that was killing them. I think that was getting too much fertilizer. Um, they would turn yellow and they would just get sickly and, and they died off. We've, I've experimented with this about three times and this time it's obviously working. Um, so yeah, uh, th this, this container is probably about 17 gallons. Um, it is aerated to keep the water flowing around and moving. Um, as you can see there, it's got a little air stone inside of there. Um, we have a big, a big uh, aquaponics, hydroponics uh, air pump here that's enough to provide lots and lots of air to all kinds of different places. Um, let's see if I can tell you what the brand is. This is an Active Aqua. There you go, Active Aqua. And we've had that for several months now and it works great. Uh, it puts out a, a, a buttload of air and does everything we ask of it so far. But back to the beans. So here's the roots. Check that out. And as you can see, here's an air stone down in here. Away. And uh, I guess that's about it. Every once in a while I'll come through here and I'll spray them with uh, some, some neem oil and some uh, copper. And those are both listed as uh, organic hydroponics uh, or, or organics uh, to treat pests with. And um, so far we haven't had any issues. If there's anything else that I haven't covered or anybody has any extra questions, please let me know.